Many importers complain that high quality, compatible products are difficult to find. But is that true? Hello, I'm David Gibbons and I've been living and working here in China for more than a decade. Now, one Chinese company takes their aftermarket products so seriously, they will fly overseas to meet buyers to solve their copier problems. Today, I'm at the Zhuhai Border Gate car park, waiting for the staff from Gold East to arrive back home here in China. <laughs> and here comes Gold East boss Mike Wong, as well as two of his staff. Greetings, Mike, Tina and Andy. Welcome back home. Where have you been? Yes, we went to Europe. I was told that you would actually fly to meet business owners in other countries just to help them solve their copier part problems. And they weren't even your customers at the time. Yes, that's why they become our customers. We invest a lot of time and effort to solve their problems. We develop products and solutions, including drum units, fuser units, transfer units, toners, and other spare parts. I heard you made one particular trip just to solve a Kyocera drum unit problem. That's right. One businessman found many compatible DK5230 and DK5231 drum units share the same problem. You see, the DK5230 black drum unit gets blocked inside with waste toner powder. The cleaning screw breaks and gears get warm and the drums also wear out easily. So you visited this man's business, found the problem and helped him to find a solution. Yes, he wanted us to customize the Qsela drum units for him, which should be high quality, stable, with a high page yield, totally safe in the machine, and can reduce the amount of toner replacements. Wow, he was asking for a lot. Was that achievable? That's very true. We spent more than a year to develop the best solutions. Hours, days, weeks, and months of testing, optimization, and verification. And now he's a very loyal customer of yours. Because my customers want the perfection. And after visiting him again, we were pleased with the results he also received. That was three years ago. At Gold East, we implemented the multi-life test on our newly designed, compatible version of DK5230 and the DK5231 color drum units. As a result, Gold East version of DK5230 and DK5231 are now being shipped to our professional customers all around the world. I trust that my customers, my customers trust me. So what were the processes involved in developing a new product like a Kyocera drum unit? First, we discovered these machines had two entrances and one exit. This means the waste powder from the transfer belt and from DK5230 black drum unit are discharged through the waste powder exit of DK5230. Now, if the toner powder doesn't flow smoothly or there is too much waste powder or paper dust involved, DK5230 drum unit can become blocked very easily. The damage caused to the cleaning screws and the gears of the drum unit and transfer belt unit is so bad that users must change both the drum and the transfer belt. So, knowing all of this, our engineers at Gold East set to work to develop a DK5230 and DK5231 color drum units. We solve the problems for our customers. In this case, the cleaning screw can easily slip during printing. In order to eliminate that defect, we used a 3D projector to measure the gears and other parts, modify the gear sizes and replace them. At Gold East, we used a heat treated, hardened and high precision steel to make the mold, which improved the stability and the performance of the injected molded gears. Another problem was when the cleaning screw broke, 
after being twisted, which stopped it rotating during printing. Gold East enhanced its cleaning screws by using imported fiber reinforced materials to boost the tensile bending strength and wear resistance, while also improving the screw angle for improved performance. This makes the cleaning screw deliver waste powder more quickly and smoothly. Does this mean, Mike, that you can make compatible drum units to work perfectly? Yes. But there is more. Yes, there is. There was a problem with the waste powder discharging and clogging up the waste powder channel, which is near the mixing blade during printing. To solve this clogging problem, as well as the broken screws I mentioned earlier, we focused on modifying the passage structure and the angle of the mixing blade that solved it. Then we tested the other well-known compatible brands of OPC drum and finally selected the high quality, wear-resistant Japanese-made drums. When I visited your factory in Tanzhou next door to Zhuhai in southern China, I noted that you ran extensive high usage tests. Is this true also for these drum units that you developed? Yes, we monitor the wear of the machine parts without intermittent printing of about 7,000 pages per day, every day for a month in the Gold East laboratory. This is equivalent to the actual usage an end user would go through in a year. You've certainly become the experts in products for use in Kyocera copiers and multifunction printers. Not just the Kyocera, do we? That's right, Mike. At Gold East, we put the same efforts into our Canon, Ricoh, Sharp, Konica Minolta, Utex, Olivetti, and Triumph Idena products, which are also highly popular with our customers. I need to visit you at your factory to talk about these. My viewers around the globe are asking about these products too. I've been speaking with Goldie's boss Mike Wong and Tina Tang and Andy Shi today. I'll let you go home. Xie xie, thank you. Bye-bye. And for all the breaking news every day, go to our website at rtmworld.com. Let's keep in touch. I'm David Gibbons.